Well, what do we have here? What we got is some new news. New news if you're a pack talk. Old news if you're somebody who is either a Floyd Mayweather fan or you actually pay attention to what's going on versus what the media is saying about the sport. Now I put this in another video I had out here on YouTube. It was called Who Has Floyd Mayweather Duck? And in that video I was telling y'all Floyd Mayweather did not duck Miguel Cotto back in 2005 after Mayweather beat Bruselas. They were talking about the Cotto fight. They asked Aaron Yo, Bob, you, how, what do you think about Mayweather versus Cotto fight? What did Bob say? He said that Cotto was not ready at that time in his career. And he also said that Cotto's name was not big enough to really bring in money if that fight were to go down at that point. Then later on, you know, people are saying Floyd Duck, Cotto again, um, after, after Floyd had left top rank. I told you all about that too. Dan Raphael wrote an article about it. 2006 after Mayweather left top rank. Bob Aaron quoted in that in that uh, video. You no, know, th this is also when people were saying Floyd Doug Margarito. You know, Bob Aaron said Floyd was going to take eight million to fight Antonio Margarito. Now. If he's ducking Antonio Margarito, why did he say they was going to take that deal? Bob said not only that, he said Floyd asked him for $10 million to fight Hatton and Miguel Cotto. So that $10 million he was going to get between those two fights. Not $10 million for each of them. That 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 does be crazy at that time, but you know, $10 million for both of them together. He said that Floyd wanted that. And then also wanted $20 million to fight Oscar De La Hoya. So, Aram told him that wasn't going to happen. And he left top rank. Instead of Margarito, you know, he ended up fighting Judah and Baldemir. You know, he unified the titles in that weight class, welterweight. You know, I already explained this. Baldemir was the undisputed champ at that point. Don't say Baldemir was too old because he just beat Zab Judah, who's a year younger than Floyd at that point. So, you know, if he if he was too old for Floyd, then he he should have been too old for Zab Judah. It had nothing to do with it. Floyd was just better than him hands down. And I told y'all it didn't make sense back then, saying that he ducked Margarito because he fought the dude that was the undisputed champ in that weight class, versus some dude who has some title. That nobody pay attention to it was that the NABO uh, welterweight title. Though nobody really uh, pay any attention to that, and some other vacant title Margarito had at the time. Margarito went insignificant, and an illegal hand wrapping bum at that point too. And then after Floyd left top rank, you know, and he, he ended up making twenty five million with Oscar De La Hoya, which was five million more than he asked Bob for, and you know. Weird thing about it is, you know, Bob said that Floyd was going to fight Hatton and Cotto, you know, and Margarito, and then as soon as Floyd left them and took better fights, what did Bob Arum say? He said, Floyd Duck Antonio Margarito and Miguel Cotto. And since then, people been running with it. You know, they, they ain't paying attention to what's actually going on. And now, now we hear... Uh, Miguel Cotto interview with ESPN and they, it was on it was when they, they put this out last week and what and what happened on there let, let me let me tell y'all I'll post the link on here too it said most people believe this fighting as Mayweather should have taken place five years ago from your point of view why hasn't it happened until now and what did Miguel Cotto say he said my feeling is that since the fight didn't happen before then it wasn't the right time for my case at that time and it's available now and what happened this year on May 5th so I'm gonna be prepared okay so Kodo Kodo just said it didn't happen because it wasn't the right time for his case 
and if Floyd's the one ducking him, wouldn't that mean that Carter was calling Floyd out? And I told y'all in that other video I did. Where where was Cotto when Floyd had the championship belts in that weight class? Cotto was fighting for vacant titles. He would, he did not call Floyd out. He didn't. There's no challenge that came from him. And I said that. And now you got Cotto saying to hear himself that it wasn't right for his case at that time. And then they asked him, was the Mayweather fight one that you pushed for through the years at any point behind the scenes of Bob Aaron? They asked Cotto that. And what did he say? He said, I never pushed for it at any time before. What does that what does that tell you? It tell you that you fool ass people listening to Bob Bob Aaron's stupid ass, thinking that Mayweather dug Miguel Cotto. And Miguel Cotto said he would never even talking to Aaron about that fight. Not even behind the scenes. And he also said that it wasn't the right time for it to happen in his case. And y'all are saying that Floyd ducked him. How the hell can you duck somebody who's not calling you out? Well, that's it for now. Y'all, y'all, y'all can go to that link. I posted it. And go ahead, watch the interview on there too. You know, scroll down. You you can also read the interview questions on it. And and this is to teach y'all instead of listening. To what what's coming from either side on anything in in sports or in boxing or whatever. Do not listen to the media. Look at what is actually happening. You fall victim to media hype, and you end up looking stupid in the long run. But then you start talking about stuff that's not even really happening. So, you know, this is something for y'all to think about. I'm done for now.